Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's back again with uh, another uh, fragrance review. Uh, today, I'm continuing the line from the Imaginary Authors uh, line. I uh, I think I already did like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of them, I believe. So I think I got three or so left um, in the line that I'm going to do real quick. I'll try to keep these short, give you guys an idea of what they smell like, pretty much what they smell like to me, anyway. Today, we're going to do Falling into the Sea. This is the uh, so far. I think this one's been like the most popular with with people or at least I've one of the most popular I've heard of this one quite a bit um, from uh, other reviewers and, and just other users and whatnot in the fragrance community so uh, <clears throat> ironically enough the last three fragrances I'm gonna do are all the imaginary women authors so um, that's just kind of a coincidence it's kind of funny actually um, and ironically uh, they do seem to lean towards the feminine side so maybe that's why Josh decided to make the, these particular fragrances with the women authors and whatnot. Um, so anyway, so yeah, so this is Fallen Fall into the Sea. It was uh, released in uh, 2012. Say a floral aquatic. Um, the notes are lemon, bergamot, grapefruit, lychee, and tropical flowers. Uh, here's the quick background story. Uh, at the age of 19, Nika Gallus, the um, author, imaginary author, published her first book, the autobiographical tome Falling to the Sea, which chronicled her short and toward love affair among the hot beaches and lemon trees in the Gulf of Naples. Uh, the breathtaking story opens with Nika and her girlfriends picking bunches of jasmine flower for, flowers for, for the boys while they cliff jumped into the sea. Uh, an innocent first kiss erupts into an ardent summer entanglement uh, which is short cut or cut short uh, one moonlit night when her lover leaps into a dark abyss near to uh, near to surface, leaving Nika naked on the cliff screaming his name. Uh, so that is a I guess some sort of a love affair gone wrong uh, I guess, but uh, uh, a cool story I guess you know. Um, just recently uh, I found out through um, I was watching, I was reading something that uh, I thought that these uh, authors, granted, that says imaginary authors, I thought they're real people. I mean, apparently there's real people on the pictures, but I, I, I think that they're all fake. Like, they're all just not real. Um, there's no real authors and no, there's no real uh, life and death with this person's name, which is pretty cool because ha he had me going. So good job, uh, Josh, for, um, for, for getting me going. Honestly, I just, you know, I thought it was just, I mean, it's a cool idea, but it's, I mean, it's in the name, though. They're called Imaginary Authors for a reason. So, anyway. So, I had to, had to pretty much tell them myself there. Um, so, anyway. So, yeah. So, this is uh, Falling Into the Sea. Go ahead and give it a spray. Alright. So, immediately this opens up. Really, uh, really, really tangy. Really tart. Grapefruit, lemon, and bergamot. So pretty much like like uh, just like the citrus, you know, this all the citruses in here are combined, and uh, and uh, it's very very tart, which is good because that means it's going to have a lot of lasting power, usually anyway. Then after about thirty seconds to a minute, the florals start coming out, um, which is they said it says tropical flowers in the um, in the uh, um, in the description, which you could smell tropical flowers. Don't know which ones exactly they include, but it's it's florals for sure. Um, Smells really nice, really, really nice. Uh, very, very strong, very nice. Good, good staying power. Um, it's get, it gets really, really fruity as well, and that's from the lychee. I, I'm assuming just because that's really uh, the only other fruit that's not citrus in this. Um, this is just a really nice fragrance. Um, uh, it does uh, have a really like this is very unique too because I've smelled a lot of um, you know aquatics and and uh, summer scents and citruses and whatnot. And uh, this one definitely stands alone. Don't think I've ever smelled. I mean, there's still a ton of stuff I haven't smelled yet, but don't think I've smelled anyone anything like this. Um, it does a really good job of giving you that beachy feel and that salt, that salty, uh, that sea salt air and the salt salt water, you know. So it's like it's 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 um, it's it's citrusy and it's. Um, it's fruity, and so you just think you're like you feel like you're having like a citrus cocktail on on the beach, uh, and so you automatically get like that that sun and like that feel when you smell this of like being in the hot sun. You got sand on your skin. You're drinking um, a cocktail. Now there's no there's no like suntan lotion in this, which I would be interested to see what that would smell like if they added a little bit of that, you know, uh, coconut type of um, suntan lotion, cocoa butter type of smell to this. But it doesn't. 
Um, but this is uh, this is pretty this is pretty perfect the way it is. Um, lasts quite a bit, so it's that's good for a su for a summer fragrance. Um, about four to six hours, maybe longer, depending on how many sprays you use. Uh, but for for the for the heat, it, I'm sure it would be more. Uh, it would probably last a lot longer than the four to six that I give it. Um, but yeah, so this is a this is a really good um, summer fragrance here. Um, you know, it, it does exactly what. What it what it says it's doing. Uh, Josh, I believe, has another uh, good good a good fragrance here. So far, I'm I'm concurring with all the uh, all the other reviewers out there and reviews and, and uh, blogs that I've read on on the line. Uh, I'm I'm liking all the same ones they are. Uh, I don't think I've I've been like biased or anything like that. You know, I've I always have my own opinion on these things like that. So, um, but yeah, so this one smells really good. The only uh, the only downside I think is that I think it leans more towards the feminine side. I think it's it's a little now I would wear this. And I do deem it bottle worthy um, for you guys, um, uh, but personally, for my for my taste, I don't know if I would if I would um, uh, buy a bottle of this um, because I think it just leans a little bit more towards the women with the florals. I mean, it smells really good. I mean, it's it really is fifty fifty. That's why it's classified unisex. I think the entire line is classified unisex, I believe, except for maybe one. But I'm I'm not even for sure about that one yet. Um, but yeah, it, it it gets like after a while, it gets really like a, a fruity, powdery uh, type of feel, which which kind of it smells. It really does remind me of like a uh, of like pixie sticks, like if you're to, or like or like Kool Aid powder, like when you open the Kool Aid or that the Kool Aid that comes pre made already, and you smell that, it kind of has that like that dusty, fruity feel. Um, well, which is good. I mean, that's I guess that's the beach, the beach and the sea salt maybe gives it that dusty kind of dry smell. But it's really good. I like it. I mean, it definitely. I, I deem it bottle worthy, and it's going to be uh, one of the one of the best ones of the line. Um, so I suggest you guys pick this one up, or at least try it. You know, uh, pick up the fragrance sample pack for thirty five bucks on imaginaryauthors.com. I'll leave a link below. Um, but yeah, I mean, I give this one a thumbs up. I mean, it's it's got um, especially the summer scents. Man, those are hard to find uh, that have good longevity. And I mean, this one could even go longer than four to six hours. You know, it it definitely could. Uh, this is just what. Uh, what I tested it at and whatnot, and this is just my own, uh, kind of my own my own opinion on it and whatnot. So, but yeah, so uh, this is uh, uh, falling into the sea by uh, imaginary authors, or yeah, and by uh, nose Josh Mayer. Good job again, buddy, for doing that. And I'll leave the link below uh, to uh, uh, you guys can buy your own bottles or buy the sample pack or whatever. And uh, you guys, uh, thanks a lot. Uh, I got a couple more videos I'm gonna do to finish up the line. And um, stay tuned to my top, um, I'm going to rank them, probably the top five of the house that are deemed bottle worthy, possibly. So anyway, um, yeah, so uh, thanks for uh, watching you guys. Rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about Falling to the Sea. Let me know if you've tried it. Let me know if you've uh, smelled this before, if it's one of your favorites, if it's one of the ones you hate. Uh, definitely one of my favorites of the house. Um, we'll, we'll see where it ranks. Um, in my top five of the house that I deem bottle worthy, because not all of them are. There are there is a couple of duds in my in my my flavor. Um, the way I, you know the kind of fragrances I like. So anyway, falling to the seas. Rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this one, uh, y'all. Until the next video, have a great day. Thanks.